How are you feeling for a day? Doing, feeling great, man. Opening week, opening week of the NFL, a little different nerves than normal. Different as a player. Jump, jumping in the deep end here. So on, on these late afternoon kickoffs, so we, we kick off today at 425 Eastern, so 325 local time. On these on these late kickoffs, we got up, we had breakfast in the meeting room, we had a little production meeting, we got the crew together, we talked storylines, made sure everybody's boards matched, watched a little bit of pre-game shows on the other networks, um, and came over here about, we left the hotel about noon, I had a radio hit that I had to do for a national radio platform, and then uh, just got here, made sure the booth was set up the way we wanted it, got organized, got everybody kind of put in the right spots, and now we're going to go down on the field, be able to grab some players, grab some coaches, get any last little bits of information maybe since the last time we talked to them on um, on Thursday, and next thing you know, we're going to be the national anthem and kick off, and week one will be here. Loving this, Reagan? It's great, dude. My favorite part of the game is catching up with all the guys around the league that I know. That's to me, that's is that's the fun part. I've gotten to know Tony. It's a little bit of catching up, shooting the shit. You know, with him specifically, just him coming back. It's nice to see him back from his injury. I know that was a long journey getting hurt last year. You know, and then I can, you know, eat the guys are really good. They trust you that you can pick their brain, get a little expectations. How are we gonna see you used? You know, what do you think of this young guy, this guy? And they're they the guys can trust you that the information is going to stay. They, um, You can get a lot of really good nuggets and a lot of really good context down here in pregame. That's why I like coming down this early because um, you can get a lot of good stuff. I like that we have the same shirt on. How about that? No, what shirt do you wear? It's a German. This is, this is a Victoria. Yeah, can't go wrong with so I hear you good. So KB. one, two, you three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. If I push talk to me. I hear you one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven. Fancy here, Mike. Man. Woo! So our normal routine, and once we come up from being down on the field, we, any little notes, little nuggets we get, we just update. Um, any surprise inactives, then the regular inactives we'll go through. We'll cross them off our game board here, where we have our rosters and then our game sheets with all of the players. So we'll make sure we go through any of the guys that aren't up, injury or just healthy scratch. We'll, we'll cross their names off. Um, these guys will be out here soon for like true warm-ups. Me and my brother, my spotter, we'll go through, we'll call out the position groups, make sure that we're not missing anybody. Numbers match, names match, inactives match. Uh, make sure everybody on our board is gonna be active. Make sure everybody on the field is on our board. So we have a little bit of a, kind of a routine we do now that we come back up, uh, you know, an hour here before kickoff. So that's typically what we'll do now and we'll just hang and get ready for kickoff. We're getting close. It's uh, countdowns on. We just did our rehearsal for our open. Um, what's cool though is we don't know exactly what the open will look like because we got to see when we get tossed the broadcast from the early games. Um, so we kind of practice a few different situations. Uh, but yeah, we're excited. This place is loud. Sometimes it's even hard to hear in your headset. But uh, great energy. Week one. This is awesome. Welcome to Minneapolis, where week one continues. The NFL on Fox America's Game of the Week, and it is a good one. Got my guy, my Pro Bowl tight end, Greg Olson. I'm Kevin Burkhart. So what we know is, yes, no Devontae Adams for Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers here. New coaching staff, Minnesota. There's a lot we don't know today. And I think that's the most interesting part. Four years ago, the Green Bay Packers found themselves moving on from a veteran head coach, bringing in a fresh approach. Obviously, the Matt LaFleur, Aaron Rodgers era has been phenomenal. 39 wins.
mean, we knew Minnesota was going to be good coming into the game. We felt like, you know, they, they, they had a chance to be pretty good. I don't know if we thought they would be 17 nothing at halftime good, but Green Bay's got to find a way at halftime here to regroup and, you know, realize this is a long year. They seem so rejected. They seem so down. It's a long year. It's a long game. Just regroup and come back in the second half and just try to build a little confidence coming out of week one. So we'll see. Team's going to be a force. I think Green Bay is going to settle down. They're going to be better than they were today throughout the course of the year. But um, I think for week one, it was a blast. What a good start to the year. And uh, looking forward to going down to New Orleans next week. Thanks, everybody, for following along. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we're going to try to give you guys some continued looks into behind the scenes of what goes on behind an NFL broadcast. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll, uh, we'll see you again soon.